Hey, how are you doing? Holmes here, and welcome back to some more Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth 3 DLC boss guide. Today, we're going to be taking on Midra, the Lord of Frenzy Flame. And yeah, before we get into the actual fight, let's go ahead and go over some of its moves. Okay, the first move I want to talk about it's this uh, Frenzy Flame that it shoots out. Like, like I don't know, you can see on the screen, what, however you want to call this. So, this is opening move, you always do this, and towards. You know, as the fight goes on, you can still do this as well. So the way to dodge this, I find the easiest way. It's you can just dodge your left. Like as the flame gets close to you, dodge your left. Don't dodge back because the thing keeps going straight. Like it'll keep crawling or whatever. Uh, dodging right works, but I feel like dodging left works better. So when he raises his spear or whatever from our from our left to the right like this, this move right here, this is a three hit combo. So it goes swing and then there's a pause and then it'll be two quick swings. And you can dodge all three attacks by doing a diagonal right dodge and then afterwards get one rolling attack in. And here's his spinning move. So the way to identify this one is like it kind of, he raises the arm. The, it gets a bit confusing because it looks also like another move that he does and I'll show you guys in a bit. But this one right here, if you start spinning like this, you can, if you're close, you can do a diagonal right dodge to avoid this. Uh, you can also dodge back to avoid this as well, but most of the time he'll do this twice. So he's gonna do a basic spin and then he'll jump up in the sky and he'll spin towards you again. So the move that I said looks very similar, it's this one right here. Because this one, he also raises his like, spear to our right. And then he'll do a swing and then there's a pause and he'll do a stab. And if this move, if he does this move and you're in front of him, uh, he's gonna do this like spear exploding. But if you're on the side, he just does like the sweep and the stab. Now sometimes he'll mix this up with, he'll do a sweep and instead of the stab, he'll do like the frenzy flame fire thing and then he'll do another sweep. So just to keep in mind, uh, he doesn't always do like sweep stab. Sometimes he'll do sweep, frenzy flame and then sweep again. But the opening looks exactly the same. And then sometimes he'll just do frenzy flame. If he does this while you're up close, most of the time he'll do frenzy flame and instead of doing it twice, he'll just do frenzy flame and then he'll do a stab and then that'll be the end of the combo. So just watch out for this as well. So here's his four hit combo, which in my opinion, he rarely freaking does it. So I never expect it. Okay, but the way to dodge this is diagonal right dodge and you can avoid this. And here's two separate clips because I couldn't get him to do this attack and whenever he does it, I, I, I don't expect this while I get I end up getting hit. So pretty much one, two diagonal right dodge. So I dodged a f in the first clip. I dodged the first two hit, and I ended up getting whacked by the third hit. And then the second clip, I ended up getting hit in the beginning, and I dodged the last two hits. So pretty much you put them together, and you can dodge all four attacks if you can predict this move coming. So yeah, while I was trying to get that four hit combo footage, he keeps doing this one right here, where he does two quick hits, and instead of doing the third and fourth hit. He does this one where he drags the sword on the ground and leaves a trail of fire, which you can dodge one, two, diagonal right, and then the third one diagonal right as well for this one. So if you try dodging back, sometimes he'll end up doing like stuff like this. So he'll do like a swing or two or whatever, and then he'll end up doing like the sword drag with the fire. So this is just something to watch out for if you do end up dodging back. Okay, onward to phase two. So he starts off phase two around, I guess, like 70% HP. Uh, he'll always do this like bomb explosion thing you'll see him float up like that and just keep running away don't pause or stop or distant like think you have enough distance because i don't know it chases it keeps chasing until it's about to finally land so just keep running uh but be careful because sometimes the moment he gets up he'll start off with a like range attack or he'll rush you with like a sword sweep so just you know be be careful after he lands after the explosion because there's a possibility he'll follow it up with an attack Okay, so this is going to be a second phase exclusive move right here. When you see him lift up his sword like that, you want to do a diagonal left dodge. Sometimes that'll be the end of it and then you can get a hit in. But there are times where he'll follow it up with another one where he flies up like that and he'll do another sweep. Uh, and yeah, just dodge diagonal left with this like 1-2 combo right here. Okay, so this is going to be a phase 2 exclusive move as well where he hits 5 times. So there is a slight pause for this one. In between so it goes one two and then pause and then three four and then a huge pause before a fifth hit attacks or the fifth hit attack lands so you can dodge all of these by doing diagonal right dodge no matter like which way he's swinging you can just do diagonal right dodges for all of it 
And yeah, uh, that's pretty much it for the attack breakdowns. I know he still has a few more moves that's exclusive to second phase, but they're really easy to dodge. And he does it in this fight as well, so I'll go over it as he does it. But yeah, so there's that, like, I don't know, the dummy character or whatever. And after they kill it, then it, this happens. It's kind of annoying because it, you have to, like, do that every time. So he opens with that, see? You can see it. And then when he flips up like that, just dodge into him, diagonal right. Uh, here's the paused attack with the stab, so diagonal right dodge. Uh, that little dagger stab that he just did right there with his left arm. That's completely random. You can dodge it any way you want. There's no combos or anything like that that goes into it. But sometimes he does like try to stab you twice with his dagger. So pretty much main attacks he'll do. It's the, the three hit combos and then the, the delayed two hit combo. So yeah. See here's the... Oh, here's the mix up with the frenzy flame and then the sweep again. And then here's that three hit combo. One, two, three. So for this fight I chose to do a rolling attack instead of a jump attack for some moves because I feel like it's it's faster <laughs> compared to jump attacks. Okay, so there's a sweep. See, he only did it once that time. One, two, three, four. Oh, there's the four hit combo again. <laughs> okay, I forgot he actually did it here. This jumping spike attack is actually a grab if you're close enough. Like if you get hit by it, it's a grab. Uh, but if you see it coming, just dodge back to avoid that. Uh, here's his 5 hit combo attack. So if you see him like, if the sword goes on fire and then you see his hand is like on our top right corner, it's a 5 hit combo. And then if you see on the left side like that, that means it's either going to be a 1 or 2 hit combo. Oh, he kind of delayed it this time. Wait, what the heck? <laughs> That's a little bit weird. Here's the jump again. Yeah, if you get hit by that, like I said, it's a grab. It does like 80% damage to my current health. So yeah, it doesn't build up any frenzy flame, which I was surprised. Um, dagger stab, sword again. Okay, there we go. He followed it up this time. Okay, so the delay swing. Okay, he ended up mixing it up. So delay, frenzy flame, and delay. Jump attack again, dodge back to avoid this one. Uh, if you see a, him send out another frenzy flame like that, just run because it's gonna explode. And then afterwards, you can go in for a jump attack. In second phase, be careful about getting a hit in after that attack because he will always follow it up with a swing. So that spin in the air, one, and then he'll do another swing immediately afterwards. Okay, this move right here, the overhead fire diagonal left dodge, and you want to do another diagonal left dodge, you don't dodge straight, otherwise you're going to go into the fire like I just did. And this like laser frenzy flame attack, uh, you can dodge this by just dodging either left or right, just keep going one side until he's done. And yeah, that's pretty much how you defeat uh, the Lord of the Frenzy Flame. I don't know how you say his name, like was it Midra? 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 <laughs> Anyways, uh, here are my equips going into the fight, so dual wielding, and here are my scatter tree blessing, so level 20 for this one. Uh, the Yeah, the fight itself is not too tough, it's just like, the amount of damage this guy does is, is the crazy part. But yeah, uh, anyways, thank you all so very much for watching, hopefully this video has helped if you are struggling against this boss, and if it did, hopefully all will stay tuned for more, but until next time, I hope to catch y'all later, Holmes out.